And the European Union's newest state, Kosovo, is miffed with the bloc. The EU's delay in allowing visa-free travel for the people of Kosovo has spread dismay and resentment. And now a restaurant owner in Kosovo's capital has retaliated by hitting EU officials where it hurts the most, the stomach. Mama's restaurant owner has uh, put up a sign outside his restaurant that reads, protest no entry for EU citizens without visa. Bev Kelly has catered for more than a decade to employees at the EU's rule of law mission headquarters right across the road from his restaurant. The idea came when we understood that the visa liberalization will not happen. With my staff, we are talking about someone who wants to go to his aunt or his brother, and when we learnt again, we were desperate, humiliated, and that's where the idea came from. And I said to myself that I had to do something about it. I wanted in a way to help my country. Then I decided that since my restaurant is in front of the EU rule of law mission in Kosovo, I decided to ban them from entering my restaurant. For that, I also had the support of my staff. And while Pivkeli's action may just be a mere stunt, the frustration among the Kosovars over the delay in getting into Schengen visa travel area is real. They say that they have to wait for hours to apply for a visa to the European Union. Last week, when the EU leaders met, Kosovo's hoped their country's accession matters would be discussed, but they were left disappointed. In July 2018, Kosovo fulfilled all required visa liberalization benchmarks. Both the European Commission and the European Parliament have called for it to join the visa-free regime. Meanwhile, starting May 2023, international travelers wanting to enter the EU will have to pay a fee. The new visa waiver is called European Travel Information and Authorization System. It will be needed to enter all Schengen member nations and authorities say the process to obtain a waiver will be faster than the visa process and it would be done online and would not require biometric information. Currently, there are 60 countries that need to apply for the new waiver, including the US, Canada and Mexico. And it comes with a cost of 7 euros for those aged 18 to 70 years. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.